find ourselves in our laboratory where our wind tunnel has been set up. In the background, you can see the air jet nozzle. In the wind tunnel, we evaluate the hearing aid's wind susceptibility. To do this, we use Kmar, our dummy head with a torso, who is fitted with hearing aids. We then test different wind velocities and measure the output signal. This wind tunnel is aeroacoustic, meaning that we are able to examine how wind noise develops on the hearing aid or on Kimar, the dummy head. To do this, we need a low turbulence flow profile, which the wind tunnel provides. With the wind tunnel, we can look at the different hearing aid housings and then analyze accordingly. We can see how wind prone they are so that we can incorporate our research results into the end product and test it. Another application of the wind tunnel is that we can test our algorithms since there are different methods in the hearing aids as to how to suppress wind noise. In the ideal case, the hearing aid wearer won't even notice the wind noise and thus won't be disturbed by it. What's most fun is to further research the complex theoretical field of flow acoustics, to understand and apply this knowledge gained, and, in the end of course, to help the hearing aid wearer enjoy the outdoors in all situations, like riding a bike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.